Hi, I'm Old Norse Specialist Dr. Jackson Crawford. Among the Norse sagas, one of the most interesting and a personal favorite is Hervarr's saga Okhethrex. This saga, written in the 1200s or 1300s in Iceland and existing in multiple different variants, contains a great deal of poetry that's much older than the saga. And one of those poems is an Old Norse usually called Hervarrkvida, but in English typically titled The Waking of Angantyr. Now in this poem, Hervor, who is a woman who has embarked on a career as a warrior, has broken into the grave mound of her father Angantyr and his 11 brothers, all of whom are berserkers. And she encounters her undead father Angantyr and asks him for the cursed sword Turfing. Now I have translated this poem uh, in preparation for uh, presenting a uh, proposal for translating this saga as well as some more mythical sagas from my third book. And I'm going to share with you today uh, this poem in its entirety. It's about 21 stanzas together with the uh, text of the saga that uh, immediately precedes it and is placed between the stanzas and then immediately follows it. I'll read in English first uh, from my own translation and then I will follow that up with a reading of the poem in Old Norse. Now the next thing she saw out on the island was where the grave fire burned, and she went toward it and wasn't afraid though it lay in her path. She waded forward into these flames as if into darkness until she came to the grave of the berserkers. Hervor said, Wake up, Anguntir. Hervor awakes you, the only daughter born to you in Swova. Give me from your grave your sharp-edged blade, the one the dwarves made for Sigurlami. Hervard, Hjorvard, Rani, Angantyr, I awake you all under the tree roots, with helmet and armor and sharp sword, with shield and harness and reddened spear. The sons of Arngrim are much reduced, those cruel men are nearly dust now, while none of the sons of Oifura will speak with me in Munarvog. Hervar, Hjorvard, Rani, Angantyr, may you all feel as though ants filled your ribs as you rot in your grave, unless you give me the sword that Thvalin made. It doesn't befit ghosts to bear a fine weapon. Then Anguntir said, My daughter Hervor, why do you call so? You are only welcoming your own evil doom. You've gone crazy, you're out of your wits, thinking wildly, when you dare to wake up dead men. It wasn't my father who buried me, nor other kinsmen. Two men who lived took Tyrfing, but of them only one lives now. She said, You don't speak true. May a god leave you to sit whole in your grave if you don't have Tyrving with you. You are reluctant to deliver the inheritance to your only child. Then the grave mound opened, and it was as though fire and flame were all over the grave. Then Angantyr said, Hell's gate draws up, the grave mounds open, everything in flame on the island around. It's an evil sight to look out of the grave. Hurry back, young lady, go back to your ships. She said, you can't burn those flames so bright at night that the fires will terrify me. This woman's heart will never tremble, even if a ghost appears before this door. Then Angantyr said, I tell you, Hervor, listen to me now, wise daughter, what will happen? Tyrving will destroy all of your family, girl, if you can believe it. You'll have a son who later will have Tyrving and place his faith in his strength. Men will call that man Hadrek. He will be the most powerful under the son's domain. Then Hervor said, I seemed to be a human woman before I decided to seek your hall. Give me from out of your grave the sword that hates armor, dangerous to shields, the killer of Hjalmar. Then Angantyr said, Hjalmar's killer lies beneath my shoulders, covered completely by flames. I know of no woman above the earth who would dare to hold that sword in hand. Hervor said, I will keep the sharp sword and take it in hand if I can have it. I do not fear the burning fire. The fire seems to be dying as I look upon it. Then Angantyr said, You're a fool, Hervor, but you have courage, rushing with your eyes upon the fire. I would happily give you the sword from my grave, you young girl. I cannot deny your request. Hervor said, You did well, son of Vikings, when you gave me the sword from your grave. I think it's better now, Lord, to have the sword than to win the whole kingdom of Norway. Angantyr said, You don't know it, but you're unlucky in this matter. Fully doomed woman. Why do you rejoice? Tyrving will destroy all of your family, girl, if you can believe it. She said, I will go to the ships. Now this girl is in good spirits. I care little, friend of princes, how my sons may later clash. He said, 
You'll own it and love it long. You'll have Hjalmar's killer in a secret place. Don't touch the edges. There's a poison on both. It's worse for human life than the cutting blade. Farewell, daughter. I would have quickly given you twelve men's lives. Power and strength, everything good, which Arngrim's sons left behind of themselves, if you could believe it. She said, I'm ready to leave. May you all dwell whole in the grave, and I will hurry away. I seem more than anything to be between worlds, when around me there are fires burning. Now I'll read it in Old Norse with reconstructed pronunciation dating from about the time of the saga's composition. Nu ser hon fi nast ut o oina, for hauga eldrin bren, o gengur hon thanga til o kredisk eki, thot alir haugir veri o gotu hennar. Hon od fram ni thessa elda semi myrkva, thar til at hon kom at haugi berserkjana. Tho kvad hon, vaki thu angantur, Vekr thik hervor, enga dotir ykur svovu. Seldu or haugi huasan maki, than er sigrlama slogut vergar. Hervarder, hjorvarder, trani angantur, vek ek uther alla undir vida rotum. Hjolmi ok med brunju, huasu sverdi, rond ok med dreidi, rotnum geri. Mjok eru orthnir arngrim synir, megir mengjarnir at moldar auka, Erengi gerir sona oifuru vid mek mala i munarvogi. Hervarður, hjórvarður, hrani angantur, svo se yður ollum innan rifja sem þér í mára mornið haugi, nema sverð selið, það er svo tvalin. Samir egi draugum, dýrt vopin berra. Þó hvað angantur, hervar dótir, hvað kallar svo, full feikin stafa fer þú þér að ílu, Ur er tu orðin og urviti, vil hyggjandi, vekur upp dauða menn. Gró vei mig kvaðir ne frændar aðru, þér hófðu tjörfing tver er lifdu, var þó egandi ein um síðir. Hon kvað, segur þú egi satt svo lotu oss þig heilan í haugi sitja, sem þú hafir egi tjörfing með þér, tráður er tu arfa dveita enga barni. Þó opnaðis kæugrinn og var sem eldur og lógi veri allar hæugrinn. Þó hvað angantýr, hnigin er helgrinn, hægar opnask, allar er í eldi og í barmar að sjó. Átalt er úti um að lítask, skundu mér ef þú mót til skipa þína. Hann svarar, brennið egi svo á ból og nótum, að ekk við elda yðra hræðum, skelfur egi mögju montun húgar, þótt hon dræg sjói fyrir dúrum standa. Þó hvað angantýr. Segi ekk þér, hervor, hlýð þú til enn, vísa dótir, það er verða mun. Sjó mun tyrfingur, ef þú trúa mættir, ætt þinni mér, alru spila. Mun þú son geta, þann er síðan mun tyrfing hafa, og trúa magni. Þann munu heiðræk heita líðar, svo mun ríkastur allin undir róðuls tjaldi. Þó hvað hervor, Maður þóttum ekk, menskur til þessa, óður ekk sali yðra sukja reðak. Selur þú mér úr haugi þann er hattar brynjur, hlífum hattan, hjálmars bana. Þó hvað angan tjúr. Líkur mér undir herðum hjálmars bani, allur er hann útan eldi sveipin. Mói veit ekk enga fyrir mold ofan að hjór þann þóri í hon berra. Hervor hvað, ekk mun hirða og í hon nema, hvassan mekki, ef ekk hafa mættak, ugi ekk eigi eld brennanda, þegar loga lægir er ekk lít yfir. Þó hvað angantýr, heimskertu hervor, huga reikandi, er þú að eugum í eld hrappar, eldur vil ekk selja þér sverður haugi, meri nunga, mak þér eigi sunja. Hervor hvað, vel gerðir þú, víkinga nýður, er þú seldir mér sverður haugi, betur þykjum nú, bragningur, hafa en ekk Noregi neð ak ólum. Angan tír hvað, veitsk eigi þú, vessol ertu mols, full feikin kona, hví þú fagna skalt. Sjó mún tyrfingur, ef þú trúa mættir, ætt þinni mér, allru spila. Hann segir, ekk mún ganga til gjólvormara, nú er hilmis mér í huga góðum. Lít rökki ekk þatt, lófdunga vinnur, hvað sunnir mínir síðan deila. Hann hvað, 
Thu skalt ega ok una lengi, hav thu a hul thu hjolmar spana, taka tuo egium eter eri bothum, sor mans miotuthur meni verri. Farvel, dotir, flot geva ek ther tolv mana fjor, ef tu trua matir, avulok elion, altet goda, that er sunner angrims, at sik levdu. Hon quad, bui ther alir, brot fisser mek, Hailiri Haugi, Hedan Villak Scotla, Helt Slotum Knu Hema I Milim, Ermek Um Hervis, Eldar Brunu. And so that famous conversation between the daughter, the warrior, and her undead father is one of the foundations of the early chapters of the saga of Hervor and Haithrek, which I hope may one day accompany my translations of the Poetic Edda and the Saga of the Volsungs. For now, from beautiful Colorado, I'm wishing you all the best.